Hello designers, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gigi. I am a fashion designer based in London. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this seamless reversible sporty bikini top. The sewing pattern is available to download in the description below. If you like this video, please make sure to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now let's get started. You will need the following tool and material. Press on fold again and then cut one for your front and then back piece. Repeat with your lining, cut one front on the fold and then one back on the fold. Now place your waistband on fold and then cut one. Get your front piece, place right side together with the back piece and pin on the shoulder seam. Repeat with the lining. Just pin on the shoulder seam. We're going to sew there and there. Go ahead in your overlock machine, or if you don't have an overlock machine, you can just sew a machine. Just make sure you use a zigzag stitch. Now that we have sewn the shoulder seam, now open your top, the lining piece, place with the main fabric right side together. Make sure you match in the front piece with the front piece and the back piece with the back piece. And then just pin around the neck hole. Make sure your seams are aligned together. We're going to sew around. But what I like to do, I like to attach my elastic in one go using the two layer of fabric. But if you want, you can always do a blast stitch first and then you can attach your elastic. You don't need to stretch when you attach your elastic. Now we have sewn the neck line. Now just turn your bikini top this side. Make sure your line is facing you and then just roll 
like I'm doing here and we're going to sew one armhole first. If you get this piece and then wrap around to align right side together, just pin. Just pin right side together on this side of the armhole. I find this method super easy and also it really gives a nice finish so we're going to sew around there. Can I turn your top right side out? Just pull. So we have sewn one armhole. So now we're gonna do the same. So I'm gonna turn this way so you designers can see. So if you roll this side, let me tie it a little bit for you guys to see. Just roll, roll, and if you get this piece, get this piece, and just wrap around to your pin right side together. Pin, and then just get the other side, and then just pin on the armhole. Now go ahead in your other lock machine and just sew around. And I'll turn your top right side out. So next we're going to stitch the side seam. If you just place the right side together like this. And pin on the side or you can clip if you have those clips. And we're gonna do the same side as well. See, if you open like this and then open the other side, and then we're going to pin right side together. This is actually my paper scissor, that's why it's not trimming the fabric. Now just pin on the side, the designers. Now we're going to sew around that.
Now get your waistband, fold and pin on the seam and sew along there. After you have seen the side, now fold the in half lengthwise. We're just going to stitch together or you can just do a blast stitch. Uh, this is going to make it easy to attach the waistband to our top. Just stitch around. Okay, the other trick as well. We're going to fold this in half and just trim a little bit because we need to divide into four. So if you just fold, follow this, uh, following the seam, trim again, just a little bit. Make sure you just trim a little bit, designers. You don't want to trim too much, just a little bit. Okay, so now we have our waistband fold in four section. So the reason why we're doing this is because the waistband is always smaller than the actor top on the on the bust. Because when we do that, we don't have to add the elastic. So now get your top. We're going to do the same thing. Divide into four pieces. So if you just fold the seam to seam and then trim the section for the four that we just divide and do the same thing to the lining section trust me this is going to make your life so much easier And just put your top inside so we're going to attach the waistband so if you match uh, those notch that we did like seam with the seam and then the knot with the other one and then do the same for the rest of them so that way when we stitch we're going to have the waistband at the bikini top seam distributed evenly go ahead in your overlock machine or sewing your machine and just stitch along just stretch as you sew and make sure you only stretch according to the sections that we divide As you can see here, designer, I'm stretching just a little bit to make sure it fits. And that's done. So now turn your bikini inside out. So now that we have attached the waistband to, to the main fabric, just put a pin just to be a guide because we need to attach the lining to the waistband. So we need to attach these two together. This and this ones, we need to stitch together to make reversible. So just roll and then wrap around like the burrito method. And then just pin, matching the notch with where I just put the pin.
if you can try and pin the other seam as well like I'm doing here now we're going to stitch along there and just pull as you saw don't pull too much just pull a little bit so and then pull a little bit And when you get to the area when you start your stitch, make sure to leave a hole. You don't have to, but I find it myself like when I'm using the overlock machine, I just leave a hole for us to turn our swimsuit to right side out. I'm just going to stitch again to make sure my stitch are nice and secure because I have a opening there as you can see here designer I just left a hole and turn your bikini top right side that through that hole and your bikini top is done you just have to finish off closing the hole with hand stitch or using your sewing machine and here's the final product I, I hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you on my next video designer thank you so much <music>